What's up, cinephiles? Welcome to Cinema Tech. My name is TJ, and today we are doing another trailer reaction. I actually didn't know what to do for this video because not a lot of trailers are coming out right now. But, like a gift from the gods, I guess Netflix has given us the trailer for the new film, The Wrong Missy. I will admit to you that I have already watched this trailer once because I had no idea what it was or if it would be worth showing to you. I feel like now, after watching it once, that maybe it's something I shouldn't put on this channel, which means it's absolutely something that I should put on this channel. I should not be biased towards films in the way that I was going to be in my mind. I'll talk about it a bit more as the reaction is going on. Without further ado, let's take a look at The Wrong Missy. So it looks like we're at an airport. Sorry, oh, oh, it's David Spade. I'm sorry. This and it's David Spade out. talking to a, an attractive time. blonde Me woman. Me too. Me too. With a girl. Oh, and they're both having such a good time. Right That's wonderful. You gotta bring I think we need to just maybe pause here and just keep track of the story beats. So David Spade runs into an attractive blonde woman at an airport who then turns out to be a beauty pageant model. And of course, David Spade is uh, enamored with this girl, thinks she is the perfect woman. Interesting, interesting. Let's see where this goes. I don't know why you did. I can't bring her on a corporate retreat. It's a no-brainer. Text her now. She said yes! Aloha, motherfucker, I tell you! Yeah! I think there's something worth pointing out there. One, the fact that he and his friend both get the notifications for his texts. Like, did he ask out that person on a second date in a group text so that person could see what that per to see what the attractive blonde woman was going to say back? Huh. Also, the fact that this is a corporate retreat. Why in God's name would you invite someone on a second date to a corporate retreat? Never mind the fact that it's in Hawaii. And why, as a person, would you say yes to that? Oh, yes, person that I barely know who I met at an airport. You want to show me off in front of your boss and everyone else that you work with? Well, if it's in Hawaii, I guess I'll go. This story seems perhaps a tad ridiculous. I've got this girl meeting me here, and she's amazing. Okay. That, I'm going to back that up a little bit, because I feel like I need to get a really good I've got this girl meeting me shot of him. See that, see that person on the left? Who's that person on the left? Is that, is that Hugo from Lost? I think it might actually be Hugo from Lost. <sighs> Does that mean that in 2020, we are probably going to be getting a Lost-type joke in this movie? It's not in this trailer, I can tell you that for sure. There is no indications at all that this plane eventually crashes, but are we meant to believe that in the year of our Lord, 2020, we're still getting Lost references in airplanes? Maybe. Just maybe. Here, and she's amazing. Hold on a second. That's not the attractive blonde woman from the start of the film. Could this be the wrong Missy? Let's find out. Missy, what are you doing here? That text from you was wonderful. I screwed up so huge. Remember that crazy blind date I had? Nothing you could ever do would disappoint me. I love you. This whole time I thought I was texting my dream girl. I was texting that crazy girl. Oh my god, there's been a mix-up. David Spade texted the wrong Missy. The title of this film makes so much sense all of a sudden. <sighs> With all of the information that you've been given so far, you could pretty much figure out which production company made this film. I think the fact that David Spade is in it is a fairly clear indication. But maybe we talk about that at the end. To the best weekend ever. Uh. <laughs> oh my god, are you rich? Okay, hold on, wait, no. There's something that I just need to get off my mind while I'm thinking about it right now. Does David Spade put people in his phone as just their first names? Or without any other indication as to who they might be? How does he make this mistake? Was the blonde woman not Missy Blonde or Missy Airport? And was the other Missy not... Missy bad first date. Missy just something. Something. I, I don't feel sorry for David Spade, is, I think is what I'm trying to get at. I don't feel sorry for the situation that he has put himself in because he has poor organizational skills. Lord knows how he 
got a good job at a corporation that would fly everyone out to Hawaii and allow you to bring a significant other with you. Ridiculous. I made it! Yeah. All my teachers can eat my asshole! God damn. We got a lot of great things planned for this company retreat, and I look forward to getting to know your better half. One thing I do kind of love in trailers is when they overdub lines in order to make the trailer work properly. So you can see that here. I'll just back it up. Watch when the boss says your better half. It's clearly not what he's actually saying. Great things planned for this company retreat, and I look forward to getting to know your better half. Yeah, no, no. But that line works a lot better with going to a shot of Missy, uh, let's say, dancing inappropriately with with some Hawaiian dancers. The art of making a trailer is a, is a beautiful one. I may have gone a little overboard in bragging about you. You're obsessed with me. We're either going to end up married or I'm going to end up dead in a ravine somewhere. What? I'm down for either. Please. This notion of this kind of male fantasy uh, fever dream that appears to be going on here, you know, you think you leave things like that behind in the past. This notion that, that, that a guy who's not that interesting, and no offense to David Spade, but I feel like he might agree with me if he were to ever see this video, the, the, the notion that someone would be that obsessed with him to the point where they just be like, it's totally cool if you just kill me and put me in a ravine, or that you marry me. <laughs> it's just so ridiculous. And I don't think it's being ridiculous in an ironic way. I feel like when they were writing up this movie, when they were coming up with the concept, they were like, yeah, 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 no, this woman just loves you, David Spade, and she has since the very first date. And that's going to be the crux of the entire plot of this film. Oh, boy. Please keep things cool, <gasps> calm, and very collected. You should go canoe out to an island and just chill. Like if there's one nearby or far. This is a real shark tank. You and me, let's go. You need to go. I wonder if there's an alternate version of this film where instead of referencing Shark Tank, they have to reference Dragon's Den because that's the original Canadian show that Shark Tank is based off of, and they have to change the premise of the entire film into a medieval film in order to make that reference actually work. I think I might be more interested in that film. Also, Rob Schneider is here and he's licking something. Have you figured out who produced this film yet? Put that in my mouth now? Yeah, it goes right in your mouth. Oh my god, there's a shark! And it looks like Roy Schneider... Wait, is it Roy or Rob Schneider? Oh god, I've forgotten his name. It appears that Mr. Schneider is about to punch a shark. Do you think he will? He did. You're welcome. <laughs> Missy is not who I thought she was. Oh, now David Spade is starting to realize that Missy is an actual person who has feelings and is not just a crazy person. What an amazing turnaround for him. What a wonderful piece of character development. She's free. She's fun. And the plus of her being a free person is that she is more likely to engage in a threesome with David Spade and someone else. And also it's probably worth just checking to see who that third person is because I think I have a good idea who it might be. She's free. Oh, actually, no, it's someone different. That appears to be Sarah Chalk. I think that's, I'm not sure how you pronounce her last name, but she does the voice of Beth in Rick and Morty. She was also uh, one of the prominent main characters in Scrubs. I don't think you see her at any other point in time in the film. So this is kind of interesting. And also we just let the scene play out a little bit. I wanted to see who was the one who was actually getting elbowed. Missy is not who I thought she was. She's free. Yeah, that appears to be the Sarah Chalk, Chalk, however you pronounce her last name. It appears to be that character. So I guess David Spade in this scene, in this shot, has decided that he is actually going to go for the wrong Missy, that he's going to, that he's going to do it. And he's so enamored with her, with this supposed wrong one, that he totally misses the fact when he elbows a woman in the face. She's fine. 
Also in this scene, you can see that she has two black eyes. This is the wrong Missy, again. Or Missy, perhaps, as we should start calling her, because it appears that she's turning into the right Missy. She does have two black eyes in this shot, which makes me wonder if this is supposed to happen post-threesome, and maybe David Spade was just throwing bows the whole time, and the injuries were plentiful, or if there's another part in the film when she does something where she gets hit in the face. Actually, there's a scene coming up that I think already answers that question for me. Let's stop messing around and get to it. I'm a little crazy too. Really? Why oh why is David Spade a mermaid? I'm not letting you jump. I'm pretty sure that's where she got the black eyes. It's just a guess. She's alive! Damn it! Don't you love those jokes where it's like, oh my god, someone isn't dead. That's the worst. Kind of makes you wonder about who's writing these jokes. Although I think, I think we've put this puzzle together already. <laughs> Even the font choice is kind of a giveaway, <laughs> now that I'm looking at this for the second time. Have you figured it out yet? Comment below if you figured it out. Do you get it? Do you get that visual joke? She's baggage. She's baggage. She's baggage. And that will be on Netflix on May 13th. Hooray! And that's all we get. There's no actual post-trailer tease or anything like that. I guess the trailer just gave us everything that we needed to know in the first place. And if you haven't been able to piece it together based on what I've been talking about throughout this reaction, that film is produced by Happy Madison Productions. It is the company that is owned by Adam Sandler and which has been routinely putting out some of the worst reviewed films of the year, but Netflix just keeps giving them lots of money to make more movies because they are like the Nickelback of films. Everyone doesn't like them, and yet everyone seems to watch them. So for me personally, I have liked almost nothing that the Happy Madison production group has put out in the past, so I have no real want or need to see this particular film. I know that you, typically when I do a trailer reaction at the end, I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Oh, they're doing things that I find kind of cool. And in this case, that is absolutely just not the case. So this one's going to be a pass for me, but I did want to actually do a reaction to it to show how reactions on this channel could also look at films that I'm not so keen on or that I don't actually like. I wanted to show you guys that I'm capable of negativity. So that's it for this trailer reaction. Please let me know what you think about The Wrong Missy in the comments below. Do you enjoy Happy Madison production films? Are you actually going to watch this film? And no judgment if you do. I know I came down kind of hard on the film, but if this is something that you think you can get some entertainment out of, there's no shame in that. So please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell because I go live every Fridays at 4 p.m. Eastern. It would be just lovely if you could come and join me and talk about what's going on in the film world that week and the films that we watched and everything else that has to do with film. Thank you again so much for joining me and remember to watch more movies.